So you're on our website and you want to get a product template. We have product templates for your book or your CD or your DVD cover. So let's say you got product number. So you select this particular cover for your book or for your product. Alright, so after you've downloaded your template, you can go back to your desktop and browse through your computer and find out exactly where you've placed it. So here I've put it in my tutorials file for these videos. And um, I double click on the actual zip file and it opens up and shows me every all of the files that are needed for this particular design. So I go ahead and highlight these files. I need to extract them so I can work with them. I've created another folder called Extracted Files. So I just highlight them, drag them over, and there you have the new files in your extracted folder. Okay, now that you've done that, you want to make sure that these new files or these new fonts are on your system to work with. So come on over here to your C drive, browse down to Windows, and then Fonts. The Windows fonts are the fonts that the actual system uses. So go ahead and highlight those fonts. You can control click them to select them one at a time. Again, all your fonts. Not the PSD, but the fonts, the uh, two types. Drag them on over to your fonts folder and let them install. Alright, once that's done, you can double click on your design and again you need Adobe Photoshop to actually work with these templates. So double click on your template design. Go ahead and update. If you have not added them to your computer, they may not be there for you to use for your book cover or for your product cover. So make sure you do that. So now you have your uh, cover. If you look over here in your layers palette, you'll see a few different options that help you understand the actual PSD file. You see the layers inside of these uh, folders that I've created. You need at least Photoshop 7 to see these files. Okay, so you have your front cover, your title front, which is all your titles here, including your spine. And you have your title rear, which is just your title up here on your top. Then you have all of your text for your back liner. That's all here. Okay, so very quickly, let's start with the front cover. So over here in your layers palette, you'll see a folder for your title front come down and you got all of your layers that make up your title front got your author here if you turn your eyes on and off you can see which layer is which so I turn those back on and let's double click the author Jim James is my name so everywhere you see author you can change it to Jim James now right now it says your title goes here so let's say the title we want to use is uh, Because We Love You. So over here you can see the same words here as we have here. Now you'll see that these layers are locked with a little lock here. To unlock those layers just click the little lock button down there. And If you ever select on a layer and you see they're locked just unlock them. So let's change these titles. So if you want to change each title, just double click on the text over here. And again, you're in your layers palette. I don't know if I've said that, but this is your layers palette. <laughs> double click your because enter title. Double click we goes. Double click love. And then here double click right over you exclamation point all right let's say your tell your subtitle which is here says your subtitle goes here let's double click that and say um, together we can make it sound like a song together we can make it okay so now you've got your title change to the actual title of your book and again we're just on the front now let's go ahead and move these layers around a little bit 
over here in your toolbar you'll see a tool that's called your move tool as long as you have that selected whatever layer you're on you can move around so let's say you want to put actually Tim James up here that's not Tim James okay Jim James so let's say Jim James his name was originally here let's say you like it better up here and let's say because you don't like how that's going together so let's say you want them all in one particular line so because select a layer we move we around let's say love let's say love we want up under here too and let's say you we want up under here okay I don't like that so let's move it around just a little bit let's take love to here let's do we let's put we here and let's take because and because it's kind of small so let's go here up here to the character area change that font size it's now 17.83 let's change it to 24 now we got because we love you now let's say you wanted to move all these guys up together Thank <laughs> you.